Hello guys, welcome back to Ventilate. Finally, I have something for you. Guys, if you look at that, I am up 100,000 levels. Yes, I have prestige and it was a very, very long game to get to where I am. It was just like trying to prestige and keep going, keep going, keep going. And yes, it worked out, guys. Having the best items, getting ready to go for the next transcendence works out really really well so in my group today i was probably second in the top of the list and now i'm in the top 10 uh, hence that's why like look everyone else had like better um equipments and they are a lot higher than i am so hence that's why they are at a higher percentage so that is probably the closest i'll get i'm at 1218 today i was at about 400 earlier on when i first started prestiging because I literally just started prestiging at about like two hours into the reset of Transcendence. And so guys, what I'm going to have is very helpful hints. The first Transcendence you're going to do, you're going to be way, 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 way behind. All right. So for example, I've already unlocked 17 out of 30 items on the first day of Transcendence. So what you want to do between the first second and third transcendence is to be able to level up as quickly as you can do what you can and don't worry about getting up to the top 100 however after that you can then compete later on in the next say second third or fourth transcendence um, until then you're not going to really change anything one of the major things guys you talk about like you know i was playing clan shit for the last how many god knows how many years i've been playing now i am playing a pet build there you go pet builds instead of critical slash i'm gonna get slash uh slash primary effect jackpot gun blade and critical hit so that is my gameplay right now and it, it is a whole lot faster than clan ship guys i'm not gonna lie it is a lot better i'm gonna switch it back to that critical hit thing because it does have a unique thing where companion uh, does a bit more damage okay so i am going to keep it as it is and i do have a power of a swipe of one and an upgrade of uh, all my heroes at one as well just to see what happens during this time and so guys there you go here i am 289 000. uh should be able to get up to 290,000 in a bit and be able to continue to farm so Basically, the most important thing with Transcendence after the first one that I've been through is that you're not going to be in the top anywhere near a thousand. It is normal. Uh, however, if you keep farming, keep getting as high as you can during that Transcendence, you're going to be able to outpace people later on that have slacked off. So the most important thing is consistency. The game relies and revolves around consistency. If you have consistency, you're going to get there. Um, the updates were released last week. I installed the updates, everything was ready to go, and I said, hey, what in the world? Nothing has changed. I don't get it. What is even happening? And today, look at that. You have that Firestone-looking event coming up in 12 hours, uh, which is uh, tomorrow. And Transcendent started. Tournament is about to start. Quite a few things are starting to come up. So this is very, very interesting. However, I do not see a new particular um, legendary set, mythic set, rare set, or event, or anything. So I'm hoping that maybe by tomorrow, when all, everything comes out with the new season, that we might get a chance to see new items. So that is my bet. I'm not sure if I'm right, if I'm wrong, but it is what it is. It is quite an interesting sort of scenario where you're literally powering your way through and you're getting towards the top and as you get towards the top it's just like i guess it's it's different right and it's the first time i played transcendence where i went really really well last season and then this season i started off strong so i think transcendence is going to have a real interesting place in the future in how it's going to work how it's going to uh, become a second game within a game so it, it, it will be interesting and for all of you that are under 180,000 get to 180,000 ASAP there will be a new farming mechanism that they're talking about which is not here yet uh, which it involves titans and so forth which is the 7.0 uh, 
when that comes out it is going to be absolutely amazing guys so stay tuned until then guys don't lose hope uh, a lot of you are still farming finding it hard hitting those walls just stay tuned we are going to get some updates coming up and that's gonna really really change the game Alrighty, guys that's all for me today if you come this far in the video i would really appreciate it if you just drop a like drop a subscribe that will help me in my algorithm that would be absolutely amazing i know you hear this a lot from all kinds of youtubers and all kinds of random people but guys i'm a tiny tiny youtube channel this will help me a lot so thank you very much guys i'll catch you all later and i'll keep you updated when it comes to the next thing that's coming out and we will get it tapping and going catch you all later guys bye bye